Hey guys, so um, this graph should be familiar for the Bitcoin investor. Uh, you see the market dominance of Bitcoin and uh, it has dropped there at the end from about 85, 87% to 60, eh? between 60 and 70%, it hit about the middle, so 66% market dominance dropped from between 80 and 90 percent eh? a little almost like about 87 percent it went down to 66 percent eh? so that was the biggest drop that we have seen since they started measuring here in the middle of 2013 that's before the big bubble at the end of 2013 you see here the big bubble that was the bubble of uh, bitcoin actually going from 100 to 1000 right here at the same time Bitcoin kept its market dominance at about 95% uh, even though the altcoins went up a lot uh, actually it's at the start of 2014 that you see that Bitcoin starts to lose a lot of um, dominance um, from 95 to 90 and then it drops to almost 80 in a peak this was the first month of 2014 then eh, it has going back up but then at the start of 2015 it dropped again a lot this was with ethereum uh, going up a lot and some others and then it gained again, again dominance back to 90 percent even above 92 but then it went down in the middle of start of start of 2016 when things like monero also uh, and ethereum again uh, went up a lot and um then it has been going back up but this was a real collapse here and it's very important now look this, the, what happened also with altcoins here look the, the market cap of altcoins eh? also same time period eh? it had been market cap of altcoins around 1 billion for a long time eh? then to two and a half billion that passed in 2016 but now it shot up to 10 billion and now it's back at 8 or 9 billion but you see this is a real breakout eh? So it was really amazing for altcoins. So what to do now? Well, you know, the, the, if history repeats, Bitcoin will go up again versus altcoins. This is very likely. Huh? Um, even though Bitcoin, its fundamentals are weak, uh, that does not matter. Uh, nothing goes up in a straight line and nothing goes down in a straight line. There are always uh, rebounds or corrections. And we are absolutely ready for that so um yeah this is very important uh, so the odds are in uh, bitcoin's uh, favor to go up uh, versus altcoins so this is for me very important because i i, I really am respecting more and more um just um betting based on odds investing based based on odds um and 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 i also invest according to the kelly criterion uh, which says that um those shall invest the most on the best probabilities eh, on the best risk reward ratio investments eh? so you don't just look at the risk you don't just look at the reward you look at the risk slash reward and the risk can be high but if the reward is very high um, then it's still a good investment um, anyways um, in this case here Bitcoin the reward of Bitcoin is absolutely not as good as, of, of, as many of the altcoins um, but the risk is also um, a lot lower although many people would not uh, agree with that anymore today considering uh, the, um, the troubles in the Bitcoin space but uh, this is widely um, priced in by now. Everybody knows that uh, the price, the transaction fee is going up so much. Well, that cannot be hidden for anyone 
that uses Bitcoin. So this has really caused such a big um, jump, uh, I think. Um, uh, but um, but yeah, um, for me too, it's it's very, I'm really fighting to. Well, I'm selling altcoins, and uh, and I'm really really pushing up my uh, Bitcoin exposure as much as possible. Um, a few days ago it was 15%. I'm already at 25%. I'm very happy with that. Um, but my uh, altcoin position is still at about uh, uh, 55% or so. So that's too much. And um, so I, I, I will continue to sell some. Um, ideally, uh, in this market situation, uh, you should have a higher exposure to Bitcoin than to altcoins. Eh? Uh, but that's very difficult in my case. Um, because I come from uh, basically 90% um, or 80% altcoins. Eh? So I'm at 55. Uh, okay, they've dropped a little bit. I also sold uh, already a decent piece. But... It's just very difficult to sell all your darlings, eh? um, especially when they did uh, pretty okay or very good. But yeah, uh, I've made that mistake way too much in the past and, and, um, and so yeah, now I'm really pushing myself to sell. It's actually a really great time to sell, uh, to cut, uh, cut, uh, cut back in your altcoins and, and kick out or scale down those altcoins that, well, haven't done as good as you had, would have hoped uh, either, either price wise or uh, in development um, or cut back on those coins that you think well that have gone up way more than they historically have done eh? um, or have gone up or those altcoins that everybody is talking about generally eh? or also in a bubble um, so um, yeah, it's really a great time to really um, clean up a house. Um, and I've been doing that too. Uh, and I, I, I like it, but it's difficult, of course, because a lot of the coins I have been holding, and you have much higher hopes for them. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, um, it's like a love relationship. Eh? Um, you can uh, dwindle on it and, and be sad about it, but that's really not gonna help you very much uh, or hang on to a poor relationship. No, you really have to move on and um, discover um, new uh, girls approach, new women, uh, and, uh, and, and that will improve your situation. It's the same with investing. Um, um, I've done that for way too long, holding on to my bags, but now, um, I'm starting to learn to just yeah uh, do that less and less, especially if they are other other people's bags. So <laughs> that's why I sold my Monero fully uh, because um, I never made decent profit on Monero. Uh, I was way too late for that. But I'm certainly not willing to lose money on this one because um, my heart is not in it, and and that's always very dangerous if you invest in something. Because, well, because of fear. Uh, for me, that has been the case with Monero, fearful, and I would continue to go up a lot more. But I also invest in Monero because I admire their results uh, to be adopted in a dark market and be used uh, for real as a currency. That's a great achievement. But yeah, I have a lot of... Um, yeah, a lot of things that happen in Monero I, I don't agree with and I don't support and and, and that's uh, that's a problem um, so I can't really afford to, 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 to backhold this because I will sell at a loss of course because my heart isn't in it so it's much better than to realize this now and to sell at a profit um, and now that very likely Bitcoin will go up versus the altcoins um, uh, that was the easier thing uh, to sell for me uh, but I've also gotten rid of my Zcash uh, I like that project actually um, but the timing is not very good yet 
Uh, I think, uh, as many people in the market believe it, the inflation is quite high still. So, so, so I do think there is value there, but the timing is, can probably be a lot better. Uh, probably you have to wait half a year, I think, uh, to get um, better, um, a better, um, well, you know, uh, it has just gone down to 25, it's now at 50, it has gone up to 1 or 85 uh, recently, but it's back at 50. So, 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 so it can go back to 25, yeah, that's half price, so you can buy it from here. Um, those odds are still good, but even if that doesn't happen, it could it could just hang on this price for another half year and well then you're stuck into that and, and, and all the money is not th that's stuck into something that's not making money well you can't really put it into something that is making money so in, in cryptocurrency you have actual real losses um, but those are pretty rare since everything is going up or has been going up in fiat value uh, even uh, shit uh, coins uh, have gone up a lot so I mean that's 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 that, that's very difficult to lose uh, uh, fiat value but it is very easy to lose an opportunity in a cryptocurrency uh, even if you're in coins that have gone up 50 percent or 100 percent in fiat value well you know you could have done times 10 times 20 uh, also uh, in fiat value if you would have gotten into a well a better coin or a great coin uh, and so that's why, you know, basically the losers, you know, cutting back on them, it's difficult uh, because you have those hopes, but, um, well, now it's a great time to do that. Um, of course, um, I also hope that the uh, altcoins continue to go up, but, um, and I'm way, still way, uh, more than enough exposed to that still. Eh? Um, so, 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 so that, uh, yeah, I mean, it is, I'm still at 50% altcoin, so that's still like by the, the most, the biggest by far. Uh, so, um, yeah, uh, but, but, but the hope is a very bad, um, you shouldn't be investing based on hope, hope just based on probabilities. Uh, and so I'm doing it wrong. Huh? I should basically be 50% Bitcoin and then 25% altcoins. That, that's the right, that's the right um, allocation, I, th I believe, at this point in time. So, that was it, guys. Good luck.